You're listening to the One Man Show Network. Welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast with your host, Aaron Weinbaum. Hey kids, and welcome to the MMA Fight Picks Podcast. I am your host, Aaron Weinbaum, and uh, nothing fancy going tonight, uh, no no big studio recording. I'm in my kitchen. I'm in a huge hurry. I found out I have a meeting tonight I didn't know about. But enough about that. You are interested in the in the in the high hitting fights of UFC Prague Blockwitz versus Santos. And now this is not getting all the fanfare it should. There are certainly some interesting fights. This fight takes place uh this Saturday in the Czech Republic. That would be February twenty third at the O2 Arena in Prague. So, first up, way down in the undercard, I think this one is getting overlooked, and I'm just going to tell you right now, I'm going to butcher some of these names, and if you're going to correct me on the periscope, better do it phonetically so I can read it correctly. Um, Other than that, if you're on the YouTube, feel free to hit the subscribe button right there, right there, right there, and uh, otherwise you can listen to me however you want to listen to me on uh, AaronSysWhat.com and click on the MMA Fight Picks tab but enough of that so first up rustam kabilov versus uh carlos diego fiera both these guys uh have some notable wins now first off rustam i mean this guy hasn't lost since adriano martins who is no joke way back february about exactly three years to the day uh he's got wins over some notable veterans here this is in the lightweight division of course norman park chris wade um Desmond Green, KJ and Johnson, and then you got Carlos um, Diego Fiera. Uh, hasn't tasted a loss. It's been since April 2015, but he's got wins over Olive Obi Mercier, a friend of the podcast, Jared Flash Gordon, Kyle Nelson. Um, he's lost, of course, to Dustin Poirier, Benil Diarius. Nothing uh, to be ashamed of there. And he even has a win over at Ramsey Stripper Nijum. So, I'm going to pick this fight. It's way down there. I think it's one of the more exciting fights of the night. Um, but I'm going to go, just by strength of schedule, I think I'm going to have to go Rustam Kabilov. Next up, we have John Dotson, the magician, I believe, against Peter Jan. Um... You know, people are selling John short here. He He's alternated wins or losses, you know. But uh, I thought that Lineker fight was weird. And plus, Lineker missed weight, which was crazy. And that's way back uh, October 2016. He's got a win over Eddie Wyland. Let's not forget here, while Marlon Marais has been on a tear, John Dotson took him to a split decision. And that's no, <laughs> that's no easy feat. Um, so yeah, and, and Marlon is recently, he knocked out Aljamain Sterling. Um, he just won a fight the other week. I, 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 I'm, I'm, uh, drawing a blank here. Uh, knockout over Jimmy Rivera. Um, and I'm going to have to look this up. It's driving me crazy here. Who did he just last knock out? Oh yeah. Rafael Asensio. Oh, it's, I'm sorry. It was a, it was a round one submission. My bad. So, no joke there. Anyone that's uh, throwing shade at Dotson for that is, is kind of crazy. And you got Peter Jan um, wins uh, over Douglas Silvia de Andrade. That's way, let's see, just recently here in December. Jin Su Song. Okay, this guy has not lost since Magomed, Magomedov in uh, March 2016. And, uh, but undefeated so far in the UFC. All right, I'm going to go with the old dog here. John Dotson not getting a lot of love here. I am going to go with John Dotson. He's going to put himself back into contention. And uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. Long Island's finest out of Sarah Longo. Jean Vellante versus Michael. Okay, this is what I'm going to butcher. Oleg Shichuk. Okay, he last fought uh, December 2017. He had a dis- 
I'm sorry, a decision overturned against Khalil Roundtree because he tested positive for a man substance. Before that, he beat a bunch of people I never heard of. Now, he's from Poland, so geographically, he doesn't have as much as a haul as Jean Volante, but, you know, Volante finally had a split decision go his way against Ed Herman. Before that, split decision lost against Sam Alvey. Split decision win before that against Franco Barbarazzo. A uh, loss to split decision. I thought he won this one against Patrick Cummings and then got knocked out by Shogun Hua back in March 2017. So, I am going to go Jean Vellante. I think he's got it. Next up, Stefan Struve. Man, against, okay, Marcos Rogerio de Lima. All right, that one's not too tough. Uh, de Lima just won over Adam Wirtschek. Uh, UFC 230 back in November loses to OSP uh, catch weight at 210 and and so his, his first win was his return to heavyweight I guess he liked missing weight apparently uh, Jeremy Kimball he missed weight for that one but he won and then you know alternate wins losses blah 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 all right Stefan Struve I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you this now this guy is seven foot tall. 84 and a half inch reach, okay? Doesn't jab. Doesn't jab. Why wouldn't he not jab? So, I'm going to tell you this early. Okay, he is, number one, Stefan Struve has lost three in a row. Marcin Tibera, Andrei Olosky, Alexander Volkov. He lost that one to TKO. Uh, if he does not jab, Marcos is going to beat him. And this is Marcos coming off... Um, you know, feeling better, six foot two. You know, he's, he he certainly doesn't have the height and the reach. He's only got a seventy five inch reach. That's crazy. That is a t- almost ten inches less. So Struve decides he doesn't need a jab and tries to kick or whatever. I'm gonna go Delima, and in fact, if history is correct, Struve isn't going to jab, and Delima's gonna take it. How about that? All right, the main event of the evening. Jan Blakowicz versus Thiago Santos coming up from middleweight. Okay, uh, Jan Blakowicz has been on a tear since losing to Patrick Cummings, UFC 210, back in April 2017. Then he's got wins over Devin Clark, Jared Cannonier, Jimmy Manawa, Nikita Krylov. Okay, then you got Thiago Santos. Wow. Okay, this guy has been on a tear. And here's something very interesting. Way back in middleweight, he's got a win February of last year against Anthony Lionheart Smith. Why is that important? We're talking about light heavyweight. Well, Anthony Lionheart Smith has also moved up to light heavyweight. And guess what? He is challenging John Jones for the UFC lightweight title. Light heavyweight title. Okay. So what led him out of the middleweight division, Brad Tavar, or Thiago Santos, rather. Uh, Dave, he loses David Branch. Okay. He has a win over Kevin Holland, but then all of a sudden he's up at light heavyweight and beats Eric Anders. Uh, Eric came on short on that, short notice on that fight. Also, he's a middleweight most of the time. And uh, really put it on him. I, I thought I didn't like that fight. You know, it it went all, it did go all the way, you know, to the third round. But then he got Manawa. I thought for sure that Manawa was going to beat him. Beats him just with a nasty, nasty punch in the second round back in December. Okay. While both guys are on a tear, I, I like the new Tiago Santos. That guy came out like a wrecking ball. I mean, you want to talk about Rock'em Sock'em Robots against... uh. Jimmy Manawa, I mean, that guy would not let up. He came out and just put it on him. And because of that, I think he's going to continue this. Uh, and he's going to upset Jan. And that's it. This has been a short but sweet pick session. I, I, uh, I'm i going to have to call it right here. But until next time, this is Aaron Weinman from the uh, MMA Fight Picks Podcast. Shalom. Please remember to support the podcast by visiting the affiliate links on AaronSaysWhat.com. 
Are you looking for a permanent home for your podcast? Well, Spreaker can do it all. Spreaker will give you your own RSS feed that you can submit to other platforms, including iTunes. Spreaker's mobile app will let you record from your smartphone, or you can use their web-based console with everything you need to record. Their podcasting plans include being able to host multiple shows at no extra charge. Got a YouTube channel? Spreaker's got you covered. You can effortlessly upload your podcast audio to your channel. You can even move your current podcast to Spreaker without losing any of your iTunes subscribers. Try any plan. Plan 30 days for free using promo code ASW.